Hey, New Worlders, it's Manny. I hope you enjoy the beta as much as I am, and are looking forward to the full release of New World at the end of this month. So, no matter the game, it always feels like fishing is one of those gathering skills that takes the longest time to level. So I suggest, when you're level in fishing, you should just watch one of your favorite streamers, such as myself, on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain fishing and what we know as of right now from the beta. As always, if there's anything I miss, please let me know in the comments below. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, guys, so there's two ways to start fishing. The first one is to go to your workshop and actually craft yourself a wooden fishing pole. So you'll need green wood and fibers. Uh, green wood you get from trees, fibers you get from hemp plants. You can craft it. Now you have a fishing pole. You must make sure that you, it'll be up in your tools. You make sure it's equipped, just double click it and it'll equip it in the slot. And if your fishing pole like me is kind of messed up, simply repair it. Three coins, three repair parts, confirm. All right, so the second way to actually start fishing is to start the main fishing story quest line, which starts with fishing with shields. So we walk up to him and he actually rewards you uh, with a wooden fishing pole once you do it. All you have to do is basically run around and it can be a little tricky because you're just going to run around and actually gather um, grubs in these bushes. You get your fishing rod, you can start the next set of quests, but you go in your inventory, double click your fishing rod, it gets applied, and now we can fish. All right, let's first look at the trade uh, skill screen, and specifically uh, fishing. We're going down here to fishing. Now uh, you can see that I'm actually at level 18 right now. Uh, I have a, a casting distance bonus of 0.9. Uh, and this gets added onto the base casting distance of 14 meters uh, when you perform a max cast. So uh, max cast for me right now is a uh, 14.9 meters. You get an additional 0 0.05 meter distance for every level. Once you cast this value is rounded down to the nearest 10th place. So say you're at level 17, you have a 0.85 boning bonus distance. It'll be displayed as 14.8 and not 14.85 meters on the screen. But that's probably going to be fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's casting the most uh, the distance. Now, the bonuses you get for each uh, level uh, for fishing are uh, just discoverably, uh, discovering and tracking hotspots. Uh, this goes all the way up to uh, fishing level 200. And uh, I'm going to have another video on fishing and hotspots coming out next, uh, how to do it and stuff like that. So we'll get into that next. So to enter fishing mode, you simply just have to hold down the default F3 key and it pulls out your fishing rod. Now, once the screen's up, there's three things you can do. You can hold the left mouse button to cast. You can hit the R button to equip bait and F3 to exit fishing like so. All right, so let's talk about bait. So once you hit R, you have bait is broken into um, two different modes. There's freshwater bait and saltwater bait. Now, how do you know which one to use? All right, so if we look at our map, simply so you can see where I'm actually on blue water, this is freshwater. And then you can see over here, we have salt water, which is kind of grayish. So that's how you know uh, salt water versus fresh water. The other thing you can tell too, is if you drop down into the fresh water, it says you can hit E and actually gather fresh water where you, you can't gather salt water, at least at this moment in time, you can't. All right, back to the fishing screen. Let's look at bait again. Now, as you can see, I have a certain amount of different types of baits. I have some meat bait and we have clam bait. I have 16, three, two, four. So I wanted to use, I want to use fresh water because I'm here. If you want to use bait, you don't need to use bait. It just gives a uh, boost uh, to chance catching certain types of fish. I don't know what the boost uh, is actually, like how much it doesn't actually tell us uh, what the boost is, but you can use it to actually help. It says like better, um, gives a medium boost. This gives a small boost. This gives a large boost. And this gives a medium boost. So what that boost is, I'm not entirely sure what it is. If you happen to know, let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to know the exact boost. Now, so we click equip bait. We cl simply click it here and we're going to say equip bait. Now, I'm equipping two of them. So that means when I cast twice, 
it's going to use one piece each time I cast. So once I catch, uh, once I do two catch two fish with this, it's going to be gone. I'll have to select another um, bait. But like I said, you don't actually need to use bait. If you want to not use your bait at this moment, click this and click equip bait. Now to cast, you actually just hold and uh, click and hold the left mouse button. And you can see the bar goes up and I just did a medium cast, which is weird because it's up high. It should be a far cast, not maximum, but far. And that's casting. So now if I cast on land, obviously it's not going to work. It breaks on water. So, and basically use that. You can use that distance to actually um, determine where you want to cast. Say I want to cast in this little shallow area right here. I just throw right there. You don't cast very much. Uh, I say 8.1 meters, or I can do a try to get a max cast. There we go. And that's that 14.9, like I said, deep. All right. Well, our well, we have a cast out there. If we do anything, click any mouse button, it will pull it back in, and you don't finish your cast. Now, while our cast is out there, um, you have to wait until a fish is hooked. It could take anywhere from a second to 10 plus seconds to hook a fish. Your bobble will start going up and down, and you'll get an on-screen notification to get ready. Then you have about a second or two to click the left mouse button um, in order to hook the fish. If you don't, the fish gets away just like it just did. All right, so we're going to hold and cast. We're going to wait for a, to hook a fish. Getting ready. Hook. And as you can see right now, my line is slowly deteriorating. I haven't touched anything, but you can see the actual line is deteriorating. So if I don't do anything right now, the fish is actually going to get away. So I missed it. Even though we hooked it, we still need to reel it in. Sometimes it, it it gets it to a point where you don't, it won't slowly deteriorate, but other times it will. All right, so this time we're going to reel the fish in. Get ready and hook. All right, so now to, to reel it in, you hold the left mouse button and you can see the tension is green right now. It goes to orange, danger, let go of the left mouse button, let it go down to about there and then hold it again and we should be good to go. That's all there is to actually reeling it in. Now I'm going to show you something else that may work well for people that have auto clicking mice mice. So we're going to cast. We're going to wait to hook a fish and I'm going to show you real quickly. This may work out well for large fish that um, are harder to reel in. Okay. All right. Now, if we just if we just click the mouse button, if you have an auto clicker or some way of easily clicking the mouse is going to get old real quickly doing it like this. But if you have an auto clicker and you just hold the mouse button down and it clicks auto for you, this actually may be, uh, especially for a larger fish, this may be a really quick way of bringing them in for you. All right, so now we're going to show you uh, too much tension on the line. So let's catch our hook our fish first. Hook it. And then just hold that until the tension goes up and you'll see how far you can go and then the line breaks. And don't forget that you also have um, your fishing line, line rod actually has durability. Um, mine's about a little over half, so probably like 66% durable right now. It's 390 out of 660. Um, so you know, keep that in mind every time you use it, it, it breaks a little bit. And every time you catch a fish, they will be placed into your inventory in the fishing section. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk about are the achievements. So there are several fishing based achievements um, and you can find them in here. I believe in quest territory stories. You can see there's actually a fishing quest arc line uh, starts with fishing with shields. And then there's about 15 of them. I'm on number five. Then uh, down in uh, missions, PVE skill base, PVE skill base right here. I believe there's you can see there's fishing, do fishing faction missions and such. I haven't done any yet. Then down in missions, 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 progression, we have skill level, I believe it is. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see the fishing ones right here. Uh, reach skill level 20, I'm a 19. So you can see there's a few of them here, reach 200, which is the highest. And then I believe the last one is in general, there's actually a fishing one in here where catching certain types of fish and things like that. So there's all these as well if you wanna be a completionist. That's all I have for fishing right now. As I mentioned earlier, please let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any other questions you may have and keep in mind that this is from the beta so things can change once the game is released. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below.
If you like to see more New World content like this, then please smash the subscribe button. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Till next time, New Worlders, happy hunting.